installing your filters on your Ecolo Blue 28 machine. Now, when you get your machine, every filter should already be installed except for the reverse osmosis filter membrane, which is packed separately in a bag. Um, this is just the casing. Uh, there is no membrane in there, or at least there shouldn't be one. Um, and as far as your EF1, EF2, or and EF3 or EF4, they should all be installed. And all the arrows on your filter should be facing up, except for your reverse osmosis filter. It has it has an arrow that should be pointing down. This machine apparently doesn't have any arrows on the filters, but um, originally your machine filters should have arrows on all of them. They should all be pointing up, except for the reverse osmosis, which is pointing down. Now, removing the reverse osmosis filter is just like any other of the, the other three filters. You have to remove the tubing first. And to remove the tubing, so you can see when you pull on it, there's a collar that goes with it. This collar right here. It's like an outside ring that actually hugs your um, hose. So what you have to do, it's stated in the manual. I'm not sure if a lot of people are uh, able to understand the manual. But for the collar, all you have to do is push that in. So you can see I'm pushing it in with my thumb and my index finger, and at the same time, I'm pulling on the hose, just like that. Because if you just tug on the hose or pull on the hose, there's a locking mechanism on that collar that won't allow you to do it. Just like that. See how the collar moves with the hose when you pull it or push it. So you have to push on the collar as you're pulling on the hose, just like that. You can do it any way you want to. Um, the easiest way I found is actually removing the filter from the panel, just like that, and using two hands. But right now, my other hand is occupied with a camera. So we have to work with that. And now, uh, your filter, RO filter casing should come right off. And to take this top off, of course, you twist it off counterclockwise this way. Now I'm removing the top so I could put in the membrane. And it should be empty just like this. And now, how I want you guys to put the membrane in so you don't stuff it too far down the actual housing because it can cause a clog um, if you do stuff it too far down. It's just drop it in place, just like that. And then use the cap to tighten it down or push it down, just like that. And then you screw it in. Screw it in as tight as you can. Remember, you want to use two hands. Um, hold the base with one hand and tighten the top with the other hand. Make sure everything is tight. And, and when you put in the hose also, you want to use two hands also. You want to put pressure on the filter, um, the filter itself. Um, push on it as you're pushing on the hose so it's secured. And to put the hose in, kind of wiggle it in. Wiggle it in as you push. And that's it. That's how you put in your RO filter. Now, earlier I was talking about that there should be arrows on your filters um, originally when you get first get the machine. They all look like that. They should all be facing up flow. The arrow should be pointing up for all the filters except for the reverse osmosis. Reverse osmosis filter is always flowing downwards. Um, the water from the reverse osmosis comes in through the top and it will leave 
out of this second port in the bottom. This front port actually just leads right back to your bottom tank, which is this. It leads right back into here. Only 37% of the water that gets pumped through the reverse osmosis membrane actually gets through it and will make it to your top tank. And the rest goes back through the front nozzle or front elbow back up to this 300 flow. Now, not every machine has this uh, 300 flow. Um, if you don't have one, let me know, and I will send you guys one. Um, remember, this is actually, uh, this 300 flow actually helps um, with uh, more, to build up more pressure in the RO, so more water comes through your uh, RO filter into the top tank. Now, once again, if you guys don't have it, let me know. Uh, the number is 800-691-6043, extension 110. And my name is Pablo, and I do work with Ecolo Blue. Um, well, that's it for a filter, uh, a reverse osmosis installation. If you guys have any other questions, uh, feel free to give me a call. Thank you.